Do a cross roads to here. How you guys doing? Yeah. 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 Friday, it's starting a little cold, but you still hang out outside. I'm at home a lot, so I watch a lot of daytime TV. That shit is the greatest, especially the medical commercials, because the stuff that they try to slip into there or spin as a positive, it's pretty fucking scary if you ask me. I was watching a commercial the other day, and their big niche was is that if you take this medicine, it has less major bleeding than the competitor. <laughs> Keyword being less. Because they're basically telling you, look, when you take this, you're gonna bleed like a major amount. But not as much as those guys. <laughs> Fucking taking that? What is that? <laughs> Alright, so I another commercial, and it was this happy little animated box socking you. And I realized at the end of it, essentially all it was is that for $200, you take a fat crap in a box, give it to the UPS guy, and see if you have colon cancer. <laughs> so, I don't know why anyone would do that. If you're that concerned that you have colon cancer, go to the fucking doc. <laughs> and even if, let's say they get you back and you're like, yeah, I'm good. You're going to go around the rest of your life going, oh, I know I don't have colon cancer because that doctor I never met emailed me and says, I'm cool. <laughs> so, we're going good now. <laughs> colon guard. Definitely recommend it. <laughs> And I started thinking about it, it'd be pretty cool if other companies started to do the same thing, like if they had to list possible side effects and they started attacking each other. Taco Bell commercials would be off the chain. It's Taco Bell, less major diarrhea than the leading fast food competitor. And then you know Del Taco's got to answer right back. Del Taco, introducing the new $5 caca box. Prove it once and for all, there's less major diarrhea. Eat a Del Taco. This is the kind of weird shit I think about. <laughs> um, yeah. um, growing up, I grew up around here. Uh, some of my friends' favorite sayings was, uh, hey man, no homo, and then followed up by something they think a gay person might say, because God forbid they get those two mix mixed up, you know? So they'd be like, hey man, no homo, but uh, you've been working out? And I told them, I was like, why only care about that one distinction. Why don't you broaden it? Could be a good thing too. Hey man, no Kanye, but I'm looking fresh as fuck tonight, okay? <laughs> or, uh, no Hitler, but is that guy Jewish? Oh shit, okay. It's cool if he's Jewish, it's cool if he's not. You know what? No Hillary, let's just delete this conversation and start all over. <laughs> hey, no Trump, is that guy Mexican? <laughs> See, it's kind of like a get out of free, get out of free, be racist card. But uh, I wouldn't try it. <laughs> um, I have an Android phone. Any Android phone guys out there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, See, anyone that clap, that just means that they're too poor to get an iPhone. <laughs> Especially now with the earbuds, man. It costs more than the whole iPhone if I were to lose one of those. But, um, yeah, the inc uh, has anyone ever used the incognito search app on Android phones? Has anyone ever used that for anything besides looking up porn? Because what are you looking up that you don't want you or other people to see besides porn? And I asked my friend that. I was like, Henry, what do you use it for? He was dead serious. He goes, I use it so the government can't keep tabs on me. And I said, Henry, do you think that that's how that would shake down? The FBI's like, all right, Henry, we're going to need to see your phone and check this. Oh, shit, I knew it. He used the incognito search app. That's the one thing we can't crack. All right, well, we're going to have to let you go, Henry. This is <laughs> Um, Bangkok, Colorado, obviously I love weed. I guess that goes with us. <laughs> but, um, dude, weed's cool, but it's starting to get out of hand a little bit with some of this shit. Like, I walked into a dispensary the other day, walked right up to the guy, and he said, what is the best strain of weed you have? He looked at me, and he was like, this one, right here. And I always have some stupid fucking name. It's like, Purple Nurple, you know, Train Dank. It's the best one you got. And I was like, alright, well, why is it so cool? And he looks me dead in the eyes, super serious, and goes, oh, it's great, man. It'll give you a migraine. <laughs> Why would anyone make... All right, I'll buy an eighth. <laughs> this is an expensive headache. <laughs> but, no, it's some of that weed stuff, like, the first time someone will pull out a dab rig on you... Okay, for those of you that don't know, a dab rig is a type of weed that you need a blowtorch to light to smoke. I'll repeat that, a blowtorch. So the first time someone pulls that out, I was like, fuck you, dude, no! Look at that! Dude, anything you need a blowtorch for is probably not legal or good for you. And they're over there all, okay, man, it's your turn. Uh -uh. We just went 
turn from Dura is my car to New Jack City real quick. And I ain't hitting it, Pookie, alright? That ain't fucking weed. What is that? And that's not even fun. They just jump from, yeah, man, I'll smoke a J. It's just like, oh, I gotta lay down. I don't feel good. <laughs> You know how you get so high that like sometimes your eyes are basically shut and you can't talk and kind of just like <sighs> Okay, man. I think I can make it to the bed <laughs> But first, where's, where's the Del Taco Caca box? <laughs> but uh, it's cool, man. My girlfriend, uh, she smokes weed, so that's pretty cool But um, I don't know, relationships are starting to get a little weird now, especially with dating apps it just, it, that conversation is going to be weird, like 10, 15 years from now, and it's like, Hey Dad, when you saw Mom, was it love at first sight? And then I would go, well, Tony Jr., this is how it went down. First two photos, I wasn't feeling it, fam. <laughs> but on the third photo, I was like, alright, I can fuck with this. So I swiped right, told her a latex allergy, nine months later, you came out, buddy. That's love at first sight, Tony Jr.? That's, a, that's me as a dad in the future, it's like it's gonna work out for us. <laughs> How come you took a screenshot of my Snapchat? Love it for a sight, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, my name is Tony Martin, thank you guys very much.